Hey guys, Palm Beach Bots here, doing a quick walkthrough on the B6 Neo charger. This is targeted at um, beginners in the hobby that are still getting used to using LiPo batteries and how to charge them and store them safely. Uh, the B6 Neo comes by itself with no adapters or power supplies, so you'll need to buy the appropriate um, attachments to charge your particular battery. Uh, the first thing you'll need is the power supply which it can run on a PD power supply of at least 20 watts. Uh, we sell one on the website. It's basically a, a higher powered USB-C phone charger. It looks just like a phone charger, but a regular standard phone charger won't actually turn the, the battery charger on. Um, it comes native with an XT60 port on it. If your battery is not an XT60 connector, like for example, a standard 2S300 battery with the, with the JST, you just need to plug in the proper adapter. So there's an adapter for JST from XT60 and also XT30 from XT60. Um, the XT30 you'll find on the higher powered ant weights and a lot of beetle weights. And the JST you'll find on predominantly only in ant weights. This is the most common adapter will be the JST. We're using a JST battery for the purpose of this video. That's a 2S300. When you open the box, you have a little bit of packing material. And you have the quick start guide, which for the purpose of this video, we'll skip because the video is your quick start guide. You pull the charger out. It's this nice little tiny package. Um, it has three navigational buttons. The enter button's in the middle. That's your select, then you're up and you're down. And then your, your screen's right here. On this side, you have your output. That's the XT60 connector there. That's where you'll plug in your adapter. And the balance port is on the left. If you can see the numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six. It will balance up to a six cell battery. Um, in the case of this video, we're using a two cell. So that's why it has three wires, one for each cell, and then the ground wire on the far left. On the opposite side of the charger, you've got an XC60 if you want to use a, a, like a direct current power supply. Uh, we don't really use those for the fighting robots. Some of the, the airplane guys use them, I know, a lot. For our purposes, we use the PD input right here, which is where the, uh, the power of supply comes in. The power supply will come with a box with a brick in it and then the appropriate cable, which is a C to C USB. So it looks just like a brick. And then you plug in a USB-C and you plug the other end in the battery or the charger right there. Then you grab yourself some power. When it powers up, it will show you on the screen, the uh, if you can see it, It'll show you the amount of power, which in this case is 19.8 watts. It's a 20 watt charger, so that's pretty appropriate for what we're doing. The first thing you want to do is plug in your battery, or actually plug in your adapter if you need it. So right here, you've got the XT60, you've got your XT60 adapter. Plug that in, then plug your JST in, and make sure you match your colors, red to red, black to black. So see these are matched. And that'll plug in. Now on the screen, you hit the up button to go to your charging screen. And in there, you hit up again, or you hit enter, and it goes to your main screen, where you would select your battery type, um, your cell count, and your mode. So when you go on the battery type, uh, it'll be LiPo for pretty much anyone watching this video. But for other types of batteries, it has quite a list of other battery types it can charge. And then for the cell, if you have the balance plug charged, plugged in, it'll usually just grab it for you. Um, but if you need to select it, you can select 1S, 2S, 3S, up to 6S. For this case, we have a 2S battery. And then you pick your, your task, which is kind of your charge mode. It can do balance, charge, or discharge. Um, charge is just a quick charge where you can do it with the JST plugged in. It's, it's okay between rounds at a fight. Um, I prefer to balance charge all the time because it's a better way to charge, but it does take longer. So if you're in a hurry at an event, you need to charge real fast between rounds, regular charge is fine. Um, if you go to balance charge, it will charge each cell individually, and so they're perfectly balanced, which will help your battery life and just get you an overall better charge. Um, storage is if you're in between events for a month or two or whatever, 
you know you're not going to use it, you can storage charge it, which will give it a put a lower voltage in the battery, and it's a it's safer to store it for long periods of time that way, so it won't it won't damage itself. And discharge is if you need to discharge the battery for whatever reason. So we'll start with charge. You can do charge with just the JST plugged in, which is how we have it now. And when you, you set it on 2S, LiPo, charge, and you come down here to the charge current. Now I've already used this charger, so it's set to 0.3, which is what we want to do for this battery, because it's a 300 milliamp, which is 0.3 amps. But the, out of the box, they come set to three amps. So you would start way down here somewhere and you want to move it all the way back up to 0.3. I like to charge on 1C. If you want to be, be fun and crazy, you can charge it on 2C, which would be 600 milliamps or 0.6 amps. But I like to charge it on 1C because I got time. So once you set the charge current, all the other settings, you just hit start. And you'll go to this screen where it shows the battery and how much voltage is in it and then how many milliamp hours over here that it's put into the charge. That's a good number to look at, like if you've really killed your battery, um, you can see how much it puts back in, get a rough idea if you've kind of reduced the capacity of your, bas your battery from running it too hard. Um, if you're, then if you want to end it because you want to stop early, normally it'll stop on its own, just say done, it takes care of itself. Um, but for this video, we're gonna hit stop real quick so I can show you balance charging. So now we'll plug in the balance lead here. So when that's plugged in, you go here, you go to the task and choose balance charge. And then you, your setting, it holds the settings. So if you are on 0.3 amps for, uh, for charge, it'll be on 0.3 amps for balance charge already, which is kind of nice, saves you some hassle. And you hit, you hit, uh, you go down and hit start. And it'll start charging. Now, when you're on balance mode, you can see some more things you wouldn't be able to see on charge because it's got a lead connected to each cell. So if you hit this up arrow here, it'll take you to the individual cell voltage screen. So you can see this one's pretty close, 382 and 386. Um, that's a it's a good battery, it's good good cells. If you have a, a battery run really hard and just it's acting funny, it may have one cell that's way low. Um, so when you put it on the per per cell voltage screen, you can you can check that stuff out. It's also what it's fixing in balance mode. It's charging them all back to the exact same level. You can also check internal resistance on, uh, I hit the up arrow again, which these are pretty low. It's good. It's a good set. It's a brand new battery, so it's not going to have high resistance yet. Then you can come back to your, your main info screen and then back to what you're used to. And once it's done with the balance charge, it'll, it'll have a screen that says done and you just hit OK and take the battery off. That in a nutshell, is how the B6 Neo works. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment or uh, send us an email through the website at palmbeachbots.com.